Mr. Dwyer, can I offer you a drink? Fair enough. So, what can I do for you? Boys, I've come here to offer you a very generous distribution deal. Which you have to accept. Is that so? You know who my provider is. That's all you need to know. Start with an offer, shall we? Five hundred grand up front. <laughs> it's not really an offer if we don't have a choice now, is it? But you have a choice. Don't want you making an irreversible choice like saying no. Why is Shadow so interested in us all of a sudden? Let's just say he's been watching you. He knows your numbers. It's his job to know your numbers. And those numbers have put you on his radar. No negotiations. You'll distribute for him. You make a lot of money from it. All parties will be happy. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you said we had a choice. Nah. You go tell that cheesy ass motherfucker that we ain't gonna be intimidated. As a matter of fact, we know his shit. And we know what happens to the people he works with. We ain't trying to go down that way. So, the answer is no. <laughs> I'll give you 48 hours to reconsider. Else, I'll become the devil the Bible doesn't talk about. Who asked you to sit? How many times do I need to say this? Is the so-called cops enemy smarter than the entire police department? Damn fuck. If they refuse to distribute my shit, get them off the streets and lock them out. <laughs> Why do I pay you? What am I paying for? Stop the activities. Sir, with all due respect, 
These guys have expensive lawyers. That they cover their tracks and every move they make is well calculated. But we have a plan to bring them all down with the connect groups in the area. Next time we meet. Better be done. Because one of you will not see the next day. What are you waiting for? Slow down. I can't hear anything. Okay, I'm coming. I'm coming. Hey. I thought you were staying the night. Well, I can't. I'm afraid I have some upsetting news. Uh, your mother is experiencing uh, a liver defect, uh, but we don't know the cause yet. <laughs> Sorry, what? We, we suspect some causes, but at the moment we don't know. So we'll keep her here to do some examinations and, uh, until we find something. Doctor, no. You must do something, Doctor. Doctor, you, you remember what happened to our father? Doctor, you were there. You were there, Doctor. Yes. Victor, this is something different. We hope that there has been nothing, no damage done. But we need to do more tests to find out the extent of the damage. What kind of tests? Hemodialysis, for example. The cost of the test, uh, treatments, including preparation for surgery, is... Uh, uh, Fifty thousand dollars. Fifty thousand dollars, doctor, please. <laughs> I'm sorry. We'll put uh, we'll put her on a waiting list, but the money has to be paid before we start the operation. Uh, if uh, there's anything else, uh, like uh, kidney damage, uh, we'll need to do a kidney transplant. Everything, everything will be okay. Excuse me. Um, uh, we, we have four to five weeks. But, uh, uh, that way there won't be as much damage. Uh, speak to your relatives. I'll let you think about it. You're the only man in the house, my son. 
Look after your sister and your mother. I don't always tell you this. I'm so proud of you both. <coughs> Promise me we'll look after each other. <coughs> Promise. Promise, Dad. Fifty thousand. We lost Dad, Victor. We can't lose Mom, too. <laughs> hey, listen, listen. We won, all right? But, Victor... <laughs> listen, I'll do whatever it takes, okay? All right? I'll do whatever it takes to get you the medication that you need. I'll do whatever it takes. Giselle, look after her, okay? Do whatever it takes, Victor. I will. Let me know if anything happens, okay? Sister. Yeah, I called to let you know that mom is very sick. Anaumwa. Anaumwa? Yeah, Anaumwa sana. <sighs> Nini tena? Ah, uh -uh, doctor, I'm saying kwamba. She's going to need an operation. Ila, are you able to come here? Where, where, are, where are you? Me niko ofisini. Ah, yeah, basi jitaidi. We need you here. Yeah. Okay, so basi nita kwambia acha ninge kwa boss alafu nitakujulisha. Okay, bye. Call me back. Okay. So, sir, please. My mother is very sick and I only have 4 weeks to come up with the money. I really need an advance. That's not my problem. Sir. Have I not brought in sales for you? Victor, you do bring sales, but you work when you want to. And you never respect or follow any of the rules. <laughs> and you think you're as employee of the months? So I didn't say that, but that's enough. Get up from my office. I've got better things to do. All right? You know what? Fuck you and fuck your money and fuck this job. I will never work for a honest motherfucker like you. You're fired. You're <laughs> dead. Bye, Vicky. Hey, how are you? Damn, you're always getting beautiful each and every day. <laughs> Stop. You know you say that every day. Hey, I'm just speaking the truth, okay? <laughs> hey, I'm planning a surprise for our boss. What surprise? Um, I can't tell you. <laughs> it's confidential. <laughs> but I need your help. What's, your, what's his address? Yeah, of course. Colorado Avenue, number two, just across from the shops. Damn, you're fine. <laughs> I mean, you're the best. <laughs> you're not too bad yourself. Hey, um, don't tell anyone, yeah? Yeah, it's all good. Vicky. It's Victor. <laughs> Bye, Vicky. Report in one and collected file was Pitia. Okay. Lakini, okay, chief your boss Nilquan Nawazo. Nilquan Mekan of Kiria, Kwanini, Kwenikipindiki, and Bachua to Tomefunga Shule. 
hii one week wasio wanakuja kama wazazi tutakubaliana nao angalau wao wanajipitia masomo ya jioni kwa sababu mwisho wa siku matokeo yao sio mabaya lakini pia sio mazuri sana kwa hiyo wangekuwa wanakuja kwa kipindi cha jioni wiki nzima na imani angalau wangeweza kupata kitu fulani yani kasema ni kwambie hilo okay. lakini pia nina shida nimepokea simu ambayo sio nzuri mamangu anaumwa sana eh yeah. sorry sana asante na kama ujuavyo mamangu haishi hapa kwa hiyo natakiwa niende haraka iwezekanavyo ila hali yangu kiuchumi kwa sasa haiko vizuri nilikuwa naomba kama inawezekana ungenipatia msaada wa pesa kidogo Sawa. Ya. Nikoelewa. Nikoelewa sana. Ah kwanza nikupe pole kwa changamoto ya kuguliwa na mama yako lakini kutoa wasiwasi. Kwamba nitahakikisha ninakusaidia. Utaniambia how much nahitaji kwa ajili ya safari na kwa ajili ya kumsaidia mama hali vizuri kwa sababu unafahamu kwamba sipendi kukuonya ukiwa katika hali kama hiyo unajua ni binti mzuri sipendi kuona ukiwa na huzuni unatia huruma wakati mimi nipo na nguvu ya kukusaidia <laughs> ili ondoa wasiwasi mchea kwa sasa. <laughs> uh, kwenye jambo ila ki ofisi, uh, kuhusu ya la kiofisi nimeshauri kuhusu habari za watoto kupata muda mwingine kwa ajili ya kupata iweze kufanya vizuri zaidi. Mimi nafikiri haina shida. Yaani ukisema wewe basi unajua walimu wote wanatakiwa wasikilize ambacho mkisema wewe kwa sababu wewe ni kama msaidizi wangu. Of course unaweza kwa kama boss wangu. <laughs> kwa sababu najua mimi ni kiasi gani nakupenda. <laughs> wewe ni binti mzuri. Na kuelewa na kilichopo ni kwamba sikuwa nimejiandaa kwa sababu nilijua yule yuko kule kwa hiyo angeweza kumsaidia. Lakini anaambia hali sio nzuri kwa hiyo ni lazima lazima niende. Ya. Yeah. Nimeshangaika vya kutosha mpaka nimesema nikupigie wewe kukimkajua labda kama una akiba yoyote umeazime. Mhm. Mimi nikirudi tu. Ah. Yaani wewe boss ndio usiongee kabisa. Yaani ki ukweli imefika time sitaki hata kujihusisha naye kwa sababu mshwa siku kila utakachomwambia anakuletea habari ambazo sio zenyewe. So unajua yani mtu anataka kudhalisha kwa sababu ya hela ndogo. Mm, na unajua mimi siwezi hivyo. siwezi kwa kweli. Ni bora tu nikose. Ah, basi ndio hivyo. Acha niendelee kuangaika itakavyokuwa nitakwambia. Okay, thank you. Bye. Hey Elvis. Look mate, yesterday um we took my mother to the hospital because she fainted. The doctor saying that she's going to need an operation. So I was just calling to see if you can borrow me some money at all because right now really need some money. I'm empty, bro. Elvis. Please, bro, please. <laughs> Yo Barry. Stop cuz. Uh um, how are you man? I'm good cuz. Look, um I've got an emergency right now, so I'll just call and see if you can lend me some money. Any money at all, bro? Cuz I just used it, man. Bro, are you serious? Please, man. Nigga hali am you are baby. Kwa mbaya. 
Yani, yani can imagine pain ambayo yuko nayo yule mzee maskini. Hivi nini maamuzi yako? Mana, hmm? mpaka sasa hivi unajua sikusomi. Najua mke wangu. Mimi sio kama na kosa maamuzi ya kufanya. Changamoto ni baba. Baba amekuwa mkali sana hataki kusikiza ushauri wa mtoto. Madaktari wameshauri akatwe mguu. Lakini baba hataki kusikia hiyo habari. Sasa mimi nifanye nini? Lakini Stan, jebisha kuvaa viatu vya mzee. Unajua maamuzi ya kukatwa mguu ni maamuzi ya mwisho kabisa. Listen, what I suggest? At least mgekaa kikao cha familia ili muweze mkajua ni nini mna decide kumsaidia huyu mzee wa watu. Iko kwenye wakati mgumu sana jamani. Yaani ule mguu ni unaoza Mungu wangu unaoza mimi naogopa. Yaani naogopa sana. Mm -mm. No. I wish ungefahamu maumivu unayopata kwa kwa mzee vile ambavyo alivyo. Nikimuona baba yangu vile alivyo na na hii hali inaniumiza sana. But nime nimejaribu kuwaza. Mm. Nataka kuwasiana kwa taalamu. Mm. Wenda wakawa na mm. Sorry. Uh, nimejaribu ku na nataka nianze kuwasiana kwa sababu na vitu nimejaribu kuviwaza naweza kwa ni mbadala. Mm. Shit. Mm. Naweza kwa ni wana 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 kupata wazo mbadala ambao tofauti na masuala ya ku hold it right there. Haya. Ninavyo semaga huko serious, hauko serious kweli. Ndio nini sasa? Badala kukaa ufikirie ni jinsi gani unamsaidia yule mzee wa watu he's lying on the bed mguu wake ni unauza kila siku yenda kwa Mungu wewe uko busy na vimada wako wewe uko busy na vimada that's all you can think of wanawake vimada mlebata mfanye nini na wakati mzee wako yuko pale he's lying he's going to die kwa sababu ya yule mguu unavozidi kuoza kila siku kweli stand kweli seriously hawa ndio wanao kumalizia mshahara wa kazi ya kukaa kufikiria tu unamsaidiaje babako huna lakini unatemia vimada wewe ila wewe baba laana inakutembelea na laana itakufundisha utaishia hayo hayo si so, unajifanya wewe ndo lodi lofa unajifanya wewe ndo pedeje huo mdomo wako wewe utaishia hayo hayo wewe huo mdomo wako sikiza nikwambie anayeumwa ni baba yangu sio baba yako wewe ni baba mkwe wako Ukiona umeshindwa acha sio lazima fanya majukumu yako mengine mbavu Unapanua panua tu mdomo wa vyao vyetu hapo Una adabu Unaongea una mimi utafikia unaongea na nani unaongea Hey hello Baby na kupiga bada Mazigira sio mzuri Mbavu Una ni palana mimi wewe. Umeniza.
Hey you, put your ugly hands up. Hey motherfucker, put your ugly hands up and hand me your wallet. Hey, hey nigga, hey nigga, hey nigga, you got some money or weed? Don't fuck with me nigga, put your hands up and hand me your wallet. Put your hands up, put your hands up. Sorry. Hello. Hmm. Nai mane na ongea na Suzy. Na okay. Nai to Gisela. Nimkiwa kena Stan. Eh, Stan uyo uyo. Ni kwambie, mimi staki story nyingi. Nacho taka ni kwambie, ni kwambie yani, I want you to get this info. Kwamba umengia chocha kiume. Sawa, yani katika kudanga kwa kokote. Sasa hivi mamangu, umengia kichakani. Sawa, na nita kukomesha. Autaki kujua side B yangu. Binti, sijui kama ni binti, sijui kama ni mekuzidi umri, sijui kama. I don't care. I want you to stay away from my husband. Unanelewa? Kama mbali na mme wangu jamani, unanini lakini? Kutwa masimu, kutwa message, unanini wewe? Kwani hakukwambia huko mbana mke? Hmm? Hakukwambia? Basi naombeni mapenzi yenu kwanzia leo yawe monzo na mwisho. Tutakuye kufikisha na pebawa, eh? Tutakuye kufikisha na pebawa, eh? Sitaki kujua jamani sitaki kujua sitaki kujua kama unaumwa kama unaumwa wewe mamako I don't care Kaa mbali na mme wangu Kaa mbali na mme wangu jamani Kaa mbali na mme wangu umenisikia Eh mtajijua wenyewe hayo hayanihusu mimi Hayanihusu leo nimekupigia simu kiusarabu sana Next time it won't be like this Mama, angu, mama. Yeah, it, even me, all my friends are useless. Excuse me, Pambi. I'm single. You're tired. You're tired. You're tired. You're tired. You're tired. So, you're going to leave everything to me? Suzy, unakumbuka when we lost our father. It was just me and my sister. Look, keep trying and come. Because you know, it's been three years. Mom, anakumis sana. Aye. Basi sawa. Itakafukua, tukua tunawasilia. Lakini, bado naendelea kutafuta. Alright. Nisalimia mama. Alright. Bye. Oh wow. Ibe <laughs> Babako mzazi, babako wewe ujue. Babako mzazi yuko kitandani anaumwa. Hoi, 
anahitaji msaada wako umeshindwa kumsaidia uko tayari kwenda kumshulikia mama wa hawa rako huko una nini wewe eh wewe akili zako zikoje uko sawa kweli wewe sina akili mimi naumwa mm, na mimi najua na na nafikiana na hilo swala unaumwa wewe mimi naumwa tena naumwa sana sana mimi naugua mke wangu mimi ni mume wako naomba uone adabu na heshima huzi ukatoka huko ndani unachukua simu unapiga tu pi 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 kiri 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 unajua umeelewa kitu ngapi kwa yule mtu vimeuma eh mimi siwezi kuwa na kila mwanamke na wasiana basi na mahusiano naye kwa hiyo mimi duniani niishi vipi peke yangu kwa mimi ndio maanaume sana au mimi ndio najua sana nini yani ana ta sijui ni kweli wewe. Wewe sijui ni ushamba unakusumbua maskini ya Mungu. Sijui ulimbukeni. Yaani yaani hata sijui ni kuweke kwenye kundi gani stan. Au kwa sababu yule mwanamke amekwambia kwamba anatakiwa kwenda Australia basi wewe tena nginja nginja umechanganyikiwa. Naomba uniheshimu mimi ni mume wako. Na kuonya. Usinishawishi ningefanya kitu kibaya. Fanya. Mimi na akili zangu. Mimi ningekuwa chizi nisingekuwa kubali mimi nikuoe. Wewe uko hapa kama mtu ana akili. Mimi na akili zangu. Be careful. Usishashe kufanya kitu kibaya. <laughs> Kwa hiyo amekuja kukushtakia, eh? Kaja kujitilisha huruma mwenyewe. Namwambie bado picha ndio linaanza. Si amezoea kuwashwasha na wanaume zatu, eh? Picha ndio hey. Hajanijua. Don't try anything funny, old man. Hand me the cash. Hand me all the cash. Hand me the cash. Hurry up! Hurry up! Davy, somebody's been busy. Hey, don't touch that, dude. Don't play. Why are you angry? What's wrong? He's not angry. That's just how he looks. <laughs> <laughs> Very funny. Shut up. Bro, we've transferred our savings into your account. Together we got 6K. Thanks, guys. Look, I promise I'll pay you back as soon as my mom is well. With interest? Davy? This ain't even real. Oh. This is bad, man. I don't have a choice, man. Look, I'm sorry for dragging you guys into this. Your mom is like my mom, bro. I'd do anything for your mom. Anything. Yeah, anything for Mama Lanisha. All right. Tomorrow night, we go after Aircon's crew. Aircon's crew? Aircon's crew? No, 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 nigga. Nobody fucks with Aircon's crew. Those guys, they are heavily connected. Plus, do you remember what happened to that, uh, that guy named Abel when he owed the money? Plus, you refused to sell drugs for them. No, no. If anything goes wrong, we are dead. Dead. No, no. I'm not doing that. No. Aircon's crew, no. Sam, Sam. I have a plan. But, we're gonna need a real gun. A real gun? A real gun? No, 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 nigga, nigga. We cannot get a real gun. The police will catch us, they'll find the gun on us, and guess what? 20 years in jail. I'll come out all older Rickley. They know they wanna be with me. No, I'm not doing that. No real gun, no. We can no. get a gun. I know a guy who knows a guy. 
How many guys in your life, Jess? I bet your mama has more. Hey, don't you be talking <laughs> about my mom like that. Wait, yo, give it here. Don't talk. Hey, babe. Hey, you left in a hurry the other night. Are you OK? Look, I've got a few problems at home. Uh, would you be able to lend me some money? I'll pay you back, I promise. You know what, bro? I miss you. Don't miss me. Fuck. What am I doing with you then? You know what? It's over. Let's just be friends. In fact, we can't even be friends. But I didn't do anything. Exactly. You never do anything for me. Victor. Ah. Bye, man. I got better shit to worry about. Victor. Let's get to work. Jess, is that your fuckboy over there? Shut up. Yeah, that's the guy. Are you fucking kidding me? Jess, are you fucking kidding me? Like, seriously, do you expect me to go there and buy a gun from someone who's selling drugs to high school kids? And he's not gonna go and then snitch on us after? Well... Are you serious? Have guys, you got someone guys, else that's, guys. that's not connected? Guys, can we just get the fuck out of here? Get the gun, get the fuck out of here. I want to go home, okay? I don't want to be here. Hey, what where the fuck is the bullet? <laughs> Bullets are extra. Oi, nigga. You hard to hear to what? I said bullets are extra. How much extra? 150, kid. Now we got the gun, let's just get the fuck out of here. Let's go. Nah, fuck this guy. I don't trust him, guys. Hey! Ah! Ah! Victor! What did you fucking what do? Ah! Say it again! Stop! Say it again! Victor, ah! what are you doing? Victor, stop! <laughs> Shut up, well now it's him. Man, just just answer it, you know. You know he hates waiting. Just just do it. Detective Dwayne, how can I help you? Cut the bullshit. What's happening? So far we've brought down two drug dealers. Our plan is working. Victor is leading us to Acorn's crew. And how does that solve my fucking problem, huh? I said stop the cops enemy now. Just stop them, okay? We're working on it. Damn fuck. What the fuck is this? You're wasting my shit. How's she doing? How is she supposed to be doing? Have you got anything yet? Yeah, we are 15k down, but we have the rest. We? Yeah, it's Jess and Sam. I'm coming over with food.
You have a witness. We're not interested. Victor Capo, freeze! Don't move. Raise your hands nice and slowly. You are under arrest for the murder of Brian Kane. Brian, who? Anything you say and do may be used against you in the court of law. Do you understand? No! Fuck! Come on. Victor, Victor, Victor. Look at you, boy. Hey. Looks like uh, you've been getting yourself into a bit of trouble. That's 20 years right there. Do you have anything to say about this, Victor? Well, that's not me. It's a good Photoshop, though, but... That's not me. You murder an innocent man in cold blood. And you call this Photoshop, you piece of shit! Innocent? Why are you wasting my fucking time then, huh? You know I did it. What are we all doing here, huh? Why are we at the station, huh? Look, we want to make a deal with you. We've been trying to arrest a group of drug dealers that go by the name of Cops Enemy. They're a drug syndicate. They throw these big events as a cover to sell drugs in-house. We don't have any evidence, but we know they are big drug dealers. They run events inside and outside. Everyone who attends their events follows their code. We have tried everything we can to arrest them, but without a warrant or evidence, there's nothing we can do. We even rocked up on a Saturday at one of their busiest days. Where the police open the gates. At first, they refused us entry, like all the other times. We tried reasoning with them, but that gave them time to put everything away. After a long discussion, they allowed us to search the property <laughs> with one condition. If you search this house and you find nothing, and I see you, a hundred meters from this property, not only would I make sure you lose your shitty little jobs, but I will sue your whole damn department. We searched the property everywhere, inside events, outside events, but they were always two steps ahead. There was nothing. <clears throat> Apologies for the inconvenience. Enjoy your evening. <laughs> Sorry for the inconvenience. Did everyone hear that? Yeah. Listen, I told you, I never want to see you or you. Or you, anywhere near here. If you have an issue with us, get a fucking warrant. We want you to find a way get in their crew and report to us of their every move. Get some good evidence so we can arrest them. 
You want me to get into cop's enemy? Like, cop's enemy. How am I gonna get in there? It's invites only. Everybody knows that. And even if I get an invite, everybody knows the security is ex-soldiers, ex-cops. It's, it, it, it's fucking suicide. I'm not doing it. You have to find a way and report everything back to us, you understand? You want me to be a snitch? Do you guys have any idea how smart those guys are? It's impossible. What if I say no, huh? Simple. We'll take you back to the station. And you and your friends will be looking at a minimum of 20 years. Now, I don't know if you have anything to lose. But if you do it, I'll drop the charges. You walk free. And these will disappear. No. Take me to jail. Take me to jail. Look, Victor. The department will give you $20,000 when the job is complete. Do you understand? You're the only man in the house. Victor. Look after your sister. Victor. Victor! What do you say? Great. We are dead. 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 You're dead. Do you want us to get into cops' enemy? Like, cops' enemy? How? Huh? How are we even going to get an invite? Huh? 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 How are we even going to get an invite? So, what's the plan? First. We have to find out more information about Corpse Enemy. Mm? I got that covered. Let me get out my laptop. Guys! Guys, I got some info for you. Guys, I got some info for you. Cops Enemy is a three-person crew. Two brothers, Leslie Madalito, known as Jay, mm -hmm. and Kata Madalito, known as Jada. Yeah. The third person's Ray Monk. How did you find out about this? Nobody knows the real names. That's because nobody reads African websites like me. Or does research like I do. Leslie and Kata Madalito are real brothers. And they have a sister, Ada Marilito. They were all born in Nigeria to Igwe, Igwe Marilito. Their father is the richest man in Nigeria and he sent them to Australia to study. Ray Monk's real name is Patrick Baraka and he came from the Congo on a student visa as well. But they're so rich. Then why are they selling drugs? Ah, oh, this is interesting. I've scanned their names through the databases of all the schools, universities, and even tapes, and they don't seem to be studying anywhere. However, they did attend the University of New South Wales three years ago. The records show that they dropped out after six months. Damn, Jess. Your hacking skill is very good. You better not hack into my Facebook. I see. They came to Australia, told their father they were studying. And then they dropped down and started throwing parties and selling drugs. They must have expensive lawyers. That's why the police can never stop them. Oh, God. We are dead. We are dead. And nobody's going to know about it. I don't want to die. I don't want to die. 
Sam! Sam! I have a plan. Can you find out more information about Aida? What she likes, where she hangs, everything. Ah, shit. Fuck, this is gonna be hard. Okay, guys, I think I found where Ada could be. Looks like here, she is still enrolled in the university. So, she could be studying inside or maybe at the library. Let's go to the library then. Listen, Jess. Mm -hmm. Go and check and see if she's there, yeah? Yeah. And come and let us. Know. Yeah, yeah. All right. Give us your wallet. What? What? You didn't hear me. I said, give us your wallet. Hey, hey, hey! Back up, man! Hey, back up! Hey, hey, hey! You wanna? I... Yeah, you're bleeding. Let me take you to the hospital. Nah, it's okay. I'll walk home. Okay, just let me take you home. <laughs> okay. Oh my god! Oh my god! Just let me take you home. Come on. Son of a bitch! He did it. So you mean, I'm not gonna die? <laughs> no, you'll be fine. It didn't cut deep, but if the knife went two more inches to the right, you would have been in the mortuary. Ha! I'm so sorry. <laughs> Thank you for saving my life. I owe you. If you need anything, let me know. Anything? Um, mm-hmm. All right. Coffee tonight or dinner tomorrow? Um, coffee sounds good. All right. Sorry. Hey. <sighs> Ada, where are you? It's late. Yeah, um, I'm just at the library finishing off assignments. When are you coming? I'm coming home now. We're heading now. Don't forget the alarm. Uh, okay, sure. Um, something's come up, but, um, we can do dinner tomorrow. All right, I just can't wait. What the fuck? Are you trying to ruin this? this Get her to confess. We'll get her to tell us something about her brothers, right? All right, but after this, I need 50% of the payment. Now get the fuck out of here! Damn! I hope your heart is as beautiful as you look. What if it's not? If it's not, then may the devil punish you twice. <laughs> Are you ready to go? Oh, actually, by that, I thought to myself, I said, Victor, why take this beautiful lady out, waste all the money, when you can cook? So I decided to cook for you. You can cook? I can cook? I'm African. <laughs> of course I can cook, come on in. Taking me. Hey, do you trust me? I don't know. <laughs> trust me, okay? Trust me. <laughs> Thanks.
There you go. Wow. Yes. Not bad, not bad. You like it? Yeah. You like it? <laughs> Come here. Thank you. No worries. <laughs> hey. Don't eat. We have to pray first. I'm just messing with you. <laughs> I'm just playing, I'm just playing. <laughs> mm. This is amazing. You're really good. Hey, I took my time preparing it. So, tell me about yourself. About myself? Mm -hmm. All right, my name is Victor, Victor Kapoor. Take a guess where I was born. Africa? Obviously, but <laughs> what country? Uh, Nigeria. Girl, if you weren't so beautiful, <laughs> I would kick you out of my house right now for <laughs> saying that. <laughs> I was born in the capital city of Africa. And what's that? Burundi. Mm. And where's that? Oh, Lord. Another ignorant African. That's enough. Get out of my house. <laughs> right now. <laughs> hey, of course I know Burundi. East Africa, next to Rwanda, Tanzania, and Kenya. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. <laughs> I like that. So, tell me about yourself and keep eating? Well, my name is Ada. Mm -hmm. I'm from Nigeria. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> my father sent us here to study. Um, but I will complete my degree in physiotherapy by the end of next year. Nice. What about your two brothers? How do you know I have two brothers? Like a guess? Well, my brothers are something else. My father doesn't really like to hear about them. So, what do they do? Aren't they studying as well? <laughs> studying? No. Hey, let's just not talk about them. <laughs> Somebody's getting emotional and shit. <laughs> Well? <sighs> she didn't say much. All she said was that her brothers, they don't go to school anymore. Now, can I have the half of the payment? Yeah, yeah. Next time, make a talk. Yeah. These are three mini audio and video recorders. Find a way to get in a house and plant them. One, in a brother's private meeting room. Another, in their function room. And the third one, in either her room or her bag. Yeah? That way your job will be done. And, uh, don't get caught. All right, cool. Oh, and, uh, keep us updated. We still have nothing. We're meeting Shadow tomorrow. The kid needs more time. <laughs> Shadow doesn't have any more time. Let's get the fuck out of here. How do I do this? How do I even take it to dinner? God help me.
vision. If you're gonna want me to do this for you, I'm gonna need some money. Because this girl has an expensive taste. And I need to take her to some nice restaurant. And we both know she's, she's never gonna fall for a guy like me. So you want more money? Yes. How much more? Like 2K. Done. Oh, and make sure you keep wearing that work uniform I'm still undercover. Yeah, don't fuck up. Dwayne, Gary, how are we going on the case of cops sending me? Got any success yet? We are working on it. You're working on it? How long have you been working on it? What leads have you got? We should have something. Uh, no, no. You've both got a week. A week or you're both on the bench. Got it? Done. How are we going with Shadow? Have we been able to reveal who is Shadow? We already have a few leads. In fact, we should be able to nail him this Friday. Now, he is having a meeting with his connections this Friday night. Peter's earned their trust and he's in with them, Captain. Good, good. Right, now get back to work, detectives.
What's the go? You got another job for me or something? Or well, something, Peter? Is that your fucking name? <gasps> fucking dog! What are you doing, mate? Fucking piece of shit. Oi, calm down, I fucking right? trusted whoa, whoa, you. Whoa, whoa, Hey, we're on the same Go team. On. Fuck off, we're a fucking Oi. team. S mate, calm down, You right? fucking snake! You low-down piece you of fucking shit! Mate, mate. You're a fucking cop! You fucking... Oh yeah, I'm a fucking cop, yeah. and you're a fucking low-life scumbag, and you're a fucking murderer, drug dealer. You think you're fucking better than me? I'll bleed for this country, mate. Fucking never go anywhere, mate. I that? fucking spend yeah. my life fucking busting fucking scum that. like you. you fucking use that. Fucking Hey, are you, are you sure it's okay for me to come in? Of course it is. <laughs> Don't be silly. This is all your house? Yeah. Oh, come on. J Jada, I'd like to introduce you all to my friend, Victor. These are my brothers, Jay, Jada, and this is Ray. Hello. Stop! Should be at no tell you no bring person He's this my house. guest. I know him. And for your information, if it wasn't for him, I wouldn't be able... Are you okay? I am so sorry.
I'm sorry about what happened earlier. You're a really nice guy, Victor. big house like that by yourself? Big house? Have <laughs> you seen your mansion? Oh. <laughs> oh man, no. I live with my mom and my sister. You have a sister? Yeah. Giselle. <laughs> She's annoying to be honest. So that night I was there. Where were they? Were they working? Uh, no. They're in the hospital. Oh. Yeah, my mom is very sick and I have to do everything to help her. Sometimes I have to do things I'm not comfortable with or lie to the people that I care about. Oh. My father recently passed away. I'm so sorry. You know, you're a really good person. And everything, absolutely everything happens for a reason. So how long has you been there? About three weeks. Okay. Can I visit her? I'd love to meet her. <laughs> I, would, I would like that. Seriously, huh? I, I, would, I would like that. Okay. <laughs> See, boys, the last time we met, I made a promise to both of you. Should I refresh your mind? Hmm? I did promise you 
that next time we meet, you better get it done. Otherwise, one of you will not see the next day. And I'm fair and just. <gasps> Fucking waste of time. Dumb shit. The next time we meet, you will not see the next day, Dwayne. And neither will Ben. You know I mean it. This food is it's yummy. I made so home food. No, my son. I feel good though. Strong. I can go home, but these people, doctor, don't want to let me go home. I don't know why. <laughs> Mom, if they let you go, I will sue them myself. Why? You need to get better. I'm okay. You don't know. I, I'm not sick. You know the day that I came to him, they brought me here. I don't know. There was somebody when I came from work. They drug, drug. Yeah, they put drug. <laughs> And they love you like my baby. Okay, okay, okay. No. Who was it? I don't know. Ha. Exactly. I mean, it get better. I'm okay. Ah. Oh. Yeah, tell them to let me go home. I'm okay. I'm not sick. Just do it. Eat. 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 These are three mini audio and video recorders. Find a way to get in the house and plant them. One, in your brother's private meeting room. Another, in their function room. And the third one, in either her room or her bag. That way your job will be done. And how are you? Doctor, good doctor. Oh, doctor, yeah. sit down. Doctor, what is this? I, I don't know. What is this doing in my mother's hospital room? I don't know. I, I've seen it before. Doctor, you have three seconds to tell me what this is or I'll fucking kill you. One. Victor, stop. Are you crazy? Giselle, go close the door. Quick. No. Two. No, 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 no. She said Dwayne told me to do it. Dr. Williams, how are you? I'm Detective Dwayne. This is Detective Gary. There is a patient that's just come in tonight, and uh, since you are the night doctor, the department needs your cooperation. Now, it's a highly sensitive case that we're working on, and the information is classified. But. The department needs your cooperation. We need you to tell this patient's family that their mother is sick and that she needs an operation. Tell them that it's going to cost them $50,000 and let them know that they have two to three weeks to come up with the money. Why in the car park? Why not in my office? Doctor, this is a very dangerous case we're working on. You don't want anything to happen to you. Your son Blake. Your daughter, Christine. And um, let's not forget about Clark, our doctor. Let's uh, just keep this between us, shall we? Have a good night, doctor. Mother, your mother was never sick. How long have you known my family for, huh? Five, six years. 
you know exactly what my family has been through. You were there when we lost our father. Doctor, you fucking betrayed us. He, you betrayed us. He, he threatened me. He threatened my family. He threatened to kill my family. Giselle, can you pack up everything? I gotta get out of here. Quick, 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 quick. Doctor, can you play along? Yes. Yes, okay. Yo, Sam. Look, can you come to the hospital car park? Yeah, and be careful. All right. All right. Jesus, man, I'll buy a little fucking water next time. Look at this. So what are we supposed to see? Man, don't look at the people dancing. Look there, at the back. Is that deep shit Ada brought home last night? What's he put on the wall? This. They're spying on us. Ray? Get the tech team together. I want this whole house, top to bottom, every inch of this house searched, just in case there's more. Also, get someone to look into him, but don't do anything yet. The police are still watching. Got it. Detective Twain. I believe there's someone giving out information. I don't understand how Peter and Don just got shot out of nowhere. Same thing happened to my partner. In your statement, you said you were following cop's enemy when somebody came out of nowhere and shot Detective Gary. Why didn't they shoot you? That's a fucking question I'd like to ask the shooter. If I ever get to meet him. Did you tell anyone you were following cop's enemy aside from Detective Gary? No. Why didn't you call for backup? Shooter shot once, chased after him, I lost him. Detective. I no longer wish to work for the police. What? You can't just quit. Yes, I can. Because you told me that if I work for the police, you drop all the charges and give me $20,000. Well, I'm going to go with option B. Arrest me and take all your money. You can't just fucking quit. You know what I've been through? Shadow will take us both out. A shadow? Who the hell is Shadow? Shadow is Christopher I. Fetchy. 
this is his operation. Who do you think killed those two cops on TV, huh? Do you fucking see my partner here? He fucking shot him in front of me! And forced me to fucking bury him! And who do you think will be next? Yeah, that's right. You and me. No. It's you. And that's your problem. You should have thought of that before you started working for a killer. Why do you wear a badge? What does your badge mean? You wear that to protect people. <laughs> you really are stupid, huh? Your mother is sick in hospital. The doctor won't let her out. What do you think that is? We set you up. Don't you get it? Dwayne, guess what? I found our boy, man. Remember that guy, Victor Kapoor? Victor Kapoor, the guy that used to do those small time crimes, those robberies. We just couldn't trace him. We just couldn't put our finger on him. Victor, that's our guy. Man. I found him. He's the one. Guess what? He's Africa. Fit perfectly in with cops and we should have no issue trying to get him. He's our boy, man. We got him, Dwayne. We got him. That night, we waited for your sister to come home. But your mother came. left with your mother, we came inside your house and installed the cameras. How do you think we knew every step you were taking, huh? Buying a gun? A Kong? We were watching everything. Doctor. I want you to put her to sleep, till I get there. See, Victor, if you don't do it, your mother and sister both die. You have 20 minutes to decide until I get to the hospital. We both know you've already lost one parent. Do you really want to lose another? Shut up. What are you, what are you, Jay? See? See this? It's a recording device. Fuck! Doctor? 
What the hell have you done? Doctor! Get down! Drop your weapon now! Detective, put the gun down! That's an order! Captain, this man's a criminal. I have reason to believe he's responsible for the deaths of two officers. Get on your knees. You're under arrest for kidnap, for attempted murder, for extortion, for consorting. Consorting? You can't prove that. I'm clean. Sorry to disappoint you, Detective. Shadow is Christopher I. Fetchy. This is his operation. Who do you think killed those two cops on TV, huh? Do you fucking see my partner here? Anything you say shall and will be held against you in the court of law. You have the right to an attorney. If you can't afford an attorney, the department will provide one for you. Get him out of here, gentlemen. Boss, what do you want me to do with Dwayne? Ida, just hear me out, please. Let me explain. <laughs> what else is there to explain? You lied to me. You used me. And you were working for the police? Was anything you ever said to me true? Ida, I'm sorry. Look, I thought I was doing what's best for my mom. They lied to me. They told me my mom was going to die. And I had to do everything I can to help her. Aida, they fucking lied to me. They used me to get to you angel brothers. Aida. I've done so much unspeakable things. But it was never my intention to hurt you. And I never planned to fall in love with you, but I did. And I'm glad I did. Ida, I love you. You know I'll do anything for you. You know I'll take a bullet for you. Ida, you're the only woman in my life. I don't want nobody else. I just want you. Ida, I'm sorry. So what we had? Was, was any of that, was any of that true? Aida, everything was real. Victor, I don't even think I know you. Do whatever you want. Do whatever you can to forget about me. Give your feelings to someone else because I don't need them. Aida, listen, I'm sorry. Victor, stop. You know what, if you care about me as much as you say, just, just, just do me a favor. Stay away from me. Ida, I'm sorry! Ida!
Guys, he's calling. Jeff, Jeff, hello? Victor, where are you? Look, Ida just got kidnapped and I'm following the car right now. Hey, I'm calling the police. No, 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 no. Wait, wait, wait. Victor, Baba, Baba, can you ban him to the Baba? Mom, Mom, I can't. I'm the reason she's in this, okay? I'm pulling on my Bluetooth right now. Record everything. Okay. I'll tell you everything that's happening. All right, done. Where are you now? Jess, okay, they are turning into 13 Clifton Street in uh, Cecil Hill. Cecil Hill. 13 Clifton Street, Cecil Hill. I'm calling the police. Zero, zero, zero. I Please. know the number. <laughs> Life is such a dumb fuck, you know? <laughs> Look, who do we have here? Victor Capo, in my house, my palace. Hey, my friend, welcome back from the dead. We have been waiting for you. What the fuck do you want from us, man? What? That was a very smart move you did. But, Victor, I need the copies of those videos. Hey, all the cops who know about it are dead. And your girlfriend here will be next if you don't do what I say. So how do I know that if I give them to you, you're not just gonna kill both of us, huh? How do I know? Victor, everybody knows I'm a fair and just guy. I say it all the time. Everybody knows, okay? But Victor, don't test. Hey, my friend. Victor Capo, I can promise you that nothing would happen to you or your girlfriend. Hey, I'm a man of my word. But do not fucking change my mood. Think about it. How do you think the cops' enemy are going to feel 
when they realize that, hey, you want to die? All right, all right. I'll give them to you, all right? Beautiful. Now, can you let us go? <laughs> Make sure, my friend. Hey, Mr. Kapoor. Thank you for the video, okay? Hey, don't fucking touch it. I'll give you what you wanted. Show them both. Boss, I got a clear shot. I confirm the girl is inside. Whatever you're making, listen, I can pay you a double, okay? I don't give a fuck! Avicii. You're going away for a very long time. This is Captain Fiona. We need an ambulance. <laughs> Victor. <laughs> Victor, please wake up. <laughs> Victor, please wake up. Victor, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I didn't believe you, Victor, please. I 
loved.